the worst experience I ever had on drugs. Mm. Shit, one probably when I. Uh, with with our mutual friend yeah alex it's when i overdosed on the pcp yeah there was a ketamine drought out here and that was my (laughs) shit i was doing ketamine ketamine drought (laughs) ain't that a yeah Yeah. like i'm I'm calling all my plugs no one has it (laughs) and then so like a listener hits me up and is like yo i got pcp if you bring me some mushrooms so i go down to south central and uh I do the swap and um, he was like, go, roll up in the alley. In Detroit, the alleys run perpendicular to to the streets. Out here in Cali, they run parallel, like in fucking, like in Boys in the Hood when yeah. Ricky got shot. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't know that shit. So I park up and I roll up uh, what I think is an alley, but it's just a driveway full of gangbangers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like walking up and they're like, What's up, cuz? You know, like, yeah. what up, man? What's up? What you looking for? Da, da, blah, 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 they speak. And I'm like, uh I I asked for my man. I'm like, is I ain't gonna say his name. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just call him. I'll say my own boy's name from Detroit. I'm like, is Jinx here? And he's like, they're like, nah, nah, you nah, he ain't here. And I get this phone call and this jinx on the phone. He's like, What the fuck are you doing? I was like, <laughs> he's watching me on the camera. I'm like, I'm <laughs> I'm in the alley, dog. I'm looking for you. He's like, alleys aren't over there. You got to go get in the car and drive around. They're like, what size shoe you wear? You know, like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Let me just start walking. I look, yeah. lucky, I was lucky I look like a cop. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so I drive around to the fucking alley and I'm like fucking shook as shit. Like, Jesus Christ. I just rolled. I almost got fucked up. And he, I go in the crib and it's just like typical hood crib, fucking pit bulls. Dirty dishes, <laughs> fucking flat screens on top of flat screens. <laughs> fucking just everything's jammed in there. <laughs> fucking Hennessy and Newports. And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, he gives me this fucking, he gives me the PCP. I give him the fucking mushrooms because he can't, he can't get mushrooms down there. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, go out and go out in nature and, you know, like fucking just have a good time. He's like, nature? I ain't going out in no motherfucking woods, man. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> and, and then he was like, give this shit, give this shit to a chick and don't tell her, don't tell her it's PCP and then fuck the shit out of her. I'm like, I ain't going to do that either. <laughs> like, we both, nah, we're, no, we're not doing, doing either one of those. So. <laughs> So I got the fucking, now I got PCP and it's like sitting in my fucking, it's no one will do it with me because they got fucking brain cells. Because it's PCP. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yo, it's just like ketamine. It's in the same, like, they're in the same family, dog. They're both disassociatives, man. It's the same shit. So I'm like, and I ain't never done it. Uh, So, so fine. And it's literally in my fucking fridge next to the mustard for months. Just for months, just sitting in the fridge next to the mustard. Finally, I, I get back from, I get back from uh fucking New York. My homeboy's like, yeah, let's 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 dip, let's do that shit, let's get wet. I'm like, all right, so we'll do the PCP. We go do it at uh, Alex's, Alex's house, yeah. and um, so you're supposed to dunk it and let it dry. Um, I didn't know that shit, yeah. so we hit it in the. The crazy thing was it felt like ketamine, but like it felt like dirty, shitty ketamine, like real, like grimy shit ketamine with like espresso or so. Cause so you're, <laughs> so you're kind of hype. I'm doing like push ups. I'm like, this is fun. He's like, let's do some more. And then he dips it and it's all wet. And I'm like, all right, man, like I'll fucking. He's like, I can't get it to hit. And like, so I'm like, no, I'll do it. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm puffing it, trying to get it to go. But as I'm, like I keep hitting and hitting and yeah. hitting. So I probably did like 10 hits and didn't realize it. Ooh. And um, bro, I went, I remember Lou Reed was on and I went catatonic. Like I just, I I bent down to look at this, uh, look at some shit on the table and I just stayed down. <laughs> and then I like, I was like the letter fucking V, you know, or like I was just like the letter V and then they laid my ass down. I guess my eyes were wide open and they were like clapping in front of my face and I was gone, bro. Like I was fucking, I was, I was, 
it was it was during the Game of Thrones, so I was chilling with the midget from the Game of Thrones <laughs> on a fucking. I, I was on the Luck Dragon. I was flying with the Luck Dragon. I was on the midget from Game of Thrones. It felt like I kept coming and shitting on myself. And I, <laughs> I came to. I was like, did I? Is my dick out? Like, because you, you always hear about like getting naked. And I'm like, hey, is, did I come? And they're like, nah. And then I went back at it, and I was fucked up for like shit about three months bro three fucking months man oh shit yeah dog i was like i was uh as i walked in my eyes couldn't track so like my eyes my my eyesight was a second behind everything so as i was Oof. as i was stepping up like my eyes were down and i it was like oh fuck and i didn't tell anybody so like i'm doing fucking interviews i'm doing the radio show i'm doing everything just gone on fucking pcp like when is this gonna fucking end and i'm like i'm trying to do i mean i ate so much niacin that like i was pissing orange mm -hmm. yeah I jerked off. It looked like a creamsicle, that shit, because my dick wasn't working either. And I was like, oh, man, I killed my brain and my dick. And I'm like, I finally I finally jerk off. And it was just like, it looked like a fucking creamsicle. And uh, it really it really made, yep. helped me understand stupid people. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, oh, this is how stupid people feel. <laughs> And I gotta tell you, man, people are really nice to you when you're dumb. Cause I, I like, I be like in the hardware store looking confused, and people are like, "Can I help you? Can you, like, do you need anything?" I'm like, I, a "Pot, a plant, pot, plant, plant, pot." And they would like walk me over there. It was very kind. I got it back. I'm not all the like. I lost. I shaved. I've lost about 10 IQ points off of that shit. I never, like, I never bounced back off of that, but, you know, what I are you going to do? Shit, man.